Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Welcome in the house today. Welcome to Protocol Breaking Prayers. I welcome those who are on uh, Facebook and YouTube as well. Let's begin to share the live broadcast. Let's begin to invite people. Let's begin to tap on the screens as well. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Welcome everybody who is coming in. As you are coming in, I want you to greet me by just telling me where you are tuning in from so that I know who is in the house. Amen, somebody. Let us begin to share and tap. Let us share and tap. We are going to get right to it in the name of Jesus Christ. This is the Lord for a, div a day for the divine visitation, rather. Amen. Hallelujah. This is our day for divine visitation. Father, we thank you. Holy Spirit, we welcome you this morning. Holy Spirit, we thank you. Thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you, Lord, for everybody who is showing up for our morning manna. Hallelujah. Welcome. This is protocol breaking prayers. Hallelujah. You are welcome in the house. Hallelujah. Who is ready with me? I want you, if you are ready, to type in the comment section, divine speed. Hallelujah. This morning, we are praying in the direction of divine speed. We are asking God for divine speed. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Divine speed is what the Lord has ordered this morning. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I thank you for everybody that is joining this morning. Father, we thank you, Lord, for the life that you have given us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, that you have sustained us this far to get to our day 27 of our 31 days of grace and favor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for strength. We thank you for healing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Let your name be praised. Let your name be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ. Good morning, everybody on TikTok. As you are coming in, I'm seeing you. You are coming in fast and furious, ready for the Lord. You are coming in definitely with the divine speed. Amen. May the Lord give us strength to go on another day. Hallelujah. We have made it to day 27 in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you as we continue to charge forward father god with our protocol breaking prayers my god we declare lord let your name be lifted high let your name be lifted high in the mighty name of jesus christ we ask for speed this morning oh god we ask for speed oh god we ask for divine speed as you are coming in make sure you are typing in the comment section divine speed is what the lord has ordered this morning hallelujah we ask for divine speed therefore lord we ask that you remove every spirit of delay from our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we declare and we decree by the power of the Holy Spirit, let anything that is standing in our way of greatness, Lord, let that thing perish by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Let that thing be consumed by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we destroy by fire everything that is slowing us down. Let it move out. Hallelujah. Anything that is slowing us down to move to the next level. Father, we declare divine speed as we confess divine speed. Father God, we stand by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. We declare that doors shall be opened in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and those doors will open and we will charge forward with divine speed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for open heavens this morning. We thank, we saying, Lord, let the life of wonders begin to manifest in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, somebody. Glory to the living God. I welcome everybody who's here. Make sure you are tapping and you are engaging in the comments section. God's time is the best time and you arrived right at the right time and you are here at God's time. Hallelujah. You are here to receive divine speed. The anointing for divine speed is in the house in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God's time is the best. Hallelujah. Amen, somebody. God's time is the best. Hallelujah. Divine speed, divine speed. That is how you are introducing yourself this morning. Amen. God's speed, child of God, is the best time. And God's time is the best. Hallelujah. When you are moving at the speed that God allocates to you, you are moving at the right pace. Hallelujah. It is dangerous to be faster or slower than God. Amen. Somebody welcome everybody who's coming in. If you don't know what the topic for this morning is, it is divine speed. Hallelujah. Once you are slower or once you are faster, you are out of the will or the coverage of God. So we need to make sure that this morning, as we get into the word, as I'm about 
how to teach the word. We are going to understand what is in the will of God and what is in the coverage of God. One of the things that God wants us to know is that we should reach our potential. We should reach every single milestone that he has set for us in our life. And we must reach it at the right time and at the right season. There are many things that organize themselves against us to hinder us. And we need to be aware of those things. And part of our our our, our, our protocol breaking prayers is to exactly deal with those things that hinder us. Hallelujah. You are receiving divine speed this morning. Hallelujah. When you receive divine speed, you need to understand that God begins to unfold himself on new levels. Hallelujah. You will move at the pace that is set up by God. That is the time that is the God's time. Hallelujah. You need to have a discerning heart. You need to have circumcised ears. You need to have circumcised eyes and you have, you need to have an obedient heart that you, you know, for you to qualify to get divine speed. Hallelujah. Divine strength is also needed. Hallelujah. So this morning, Father, I ask you for divine strength. I ask you for divine strength, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I declare that every weakness in body or mind is removed so that I can move with the speed of God this morning. Let me be able to move with divine speed. Father, anoint my lips, anoint my brain, anoint every single thing that is in me, O oh God. Let everything that you have manufactured me, Lord, begin to preach and spread the gospel this morning in Jesus mighty name. Are you guys ready for the word this morning? Hallelujah. Receive divine speed. Hallelujah. Receive divine speed. The book of uh, um, Luke chapter three, verse five says, Oh Lord, let every valley on my pathways in life be filled. Father, let every mountain be brought low. Oh Lord, let the crooked be made straight. Father, let the rough ways be smooth. Hallelujah. So this morning, as we are asking God to give us divine speed, we are saying, God, create a smooth pathway in our life. Hallelujah. Let the Lord create a smooth pathway. This topic this morning, I must admit, it's very big. I doubt that we will finish everything that the Lord has put in my heart in one day. But if we don't, we are going to continue tomorrow. Amen. You are receiving divine speed. Happy. You are receiving divine speed Ovi you are receiving divine speed Dolly it's very good to see you it's been quite a while hallelujah Habakkuk 3 19 says be my strength O Lord make my feet like hinds feet father cause me to walk and run upon my my high places hallelujah O Lord send forth your fire to destroy every satanic speed breaker on my pathways in life that is our declaration this morning hallelujah the Lord giving us strength making our pathways straight anything that is crooked. God is straightening that thing in Jesus mighty name. So father, we have absolute faith in you this morning. We have absolute faith in your strength. Give us the physical strength. Give us the mental strength. Give us the spiritual strength in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And the Lord is saying that he will cause us to outrun our enemies. Those who are trying to outrun us, God is going to give us divine speed to overtake them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for restoration of oh God, that restoration that will make sure that we make it in this race of life. Hallelujah. Keep on declaring in the comment section, divine speed, divine speed. Hallelujah. So the Lord is going to make sure that any step that we take from now, one step will be equal to 10 steps. Amen. Hallelujah. The Lord will give us sight and vision that will give us clarity that we know what we are pursuing. We are going to pursue our purpose with clarity because we are receiving divine speed. Amen. Teach us to number our days, O oh God. Hallelujah. So that we may apply our hearts to wisdom. Hallelujah. Father, this morning we pray for understanding to do whatever is we need to do, that we redeem the time. Hallelujah. We pray for faith and we pray for boldness this morning. We pray for courage to follow you wholeheartedly. Hallelujah. We pray, Lord, that you send destiny helpers to help us, God, to, to, to achieve divine speed in record time, Lord, in the time that you have set aside for us, O oh God. Lord, order our steps aright in every path of our journey. Divine speed. Amen. Welcome, Lucy B. Hallelujah. One step is equal to 10 steps, baby girl. And even if you need a thousand steps, the Lord will release you for that. Hallelujah. So this morning, I want us, before we start to go deeper in the word, we are going to declare to the Lord and we tell him that, Lord, we trust you. Lord, we trust you not only for the miracles, but we trust you for divine speed because we are being equipped daily with your word. We are being equipped daily 
daily. You are giving us benefits, oh God. You are equipping us. You have given us the empowerment, the blessing that we need to function, Lord, at the junction, to function at every aspect of our lives, to function so that we can be disciples and win others for Christ, oh God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. And Father, as we come before you, Lord, humbly, Lord, with these personal requests, with our cries, oh God, we are turning it all over to you, Lord, that this divine speed that we are receiving this morning will cause us to receive a turnaround and we will receive great testimonies in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah, somebody. Keep on typing in the comment section, divine speed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm sorry this morning my voice might be a bit soft, but I'm, I'm, I'll manage. Hallelujah. God is in control. Amen. So we are receiving divine speed this morning. Let me get into the word. Hallelujah. Oh Lord God of my master Abraham, I pray thee send me good speed this day and show kindness unto my master Abraham. I'm in Genesis chapter 24 for those of you who um, are also taking notes. Genesis 24 verse 12, he says, Oh Lord God, my master Abraham, I pray thee send me God's good speed this day and show kindness to my master. When we're tracking with the word and we go to 1 Kings chapter 18 verse 45, he says the hand of the Lord was on Elijah and he tightened his garment around him and he ran before Ahab to the entrance of Jezreel. As I'm tracking forth to Isaiah chapter 40 verse 28 to 31, the Bible says, but the people that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength strength and they shall run and not be weary. That is talking about me and you as we have come this morning. Hallelujah. We are here to wait upon the Lord. We are here to wait upon the Lord and the Lord is renewing our strength this morning. He says we shall run and we will not be weary. We will not get tired. Instead, it is the devil that would rather get tired. Talk to me, somebody. Hallelujah. But he said unto them, it is I be not afraid. John chapter six, verses 20 to 21. It is I be not afraid. Then they willingly received him, hallelujah, into the ship. And immediately the ship was at the land where they went, hallelujah. Whenever God comes in, hallelujah, everything moves at the speed that it needs to move, hallelujah. Everything will need will move at the speed of life, light, hallelujah. I believe that divine speed is equal to the, to, to the speed that can be likened to light. Possibly very immeasurable, you can't measure it. So that is what we are trusting God for, hallelujah. So my prayer this morning to everybody that is tuning in is that may God grant you good speed, not just any speed. It must be the good kind of speed because sometimes we may be applying speed and we rush into wrong things and we crash. But we are praying, Lord, God, give us the good speed that Genesis 24 is talking about. We need the good speed, the good speed of God. Hallelujah. May God grant you the good speed that you need in this journey that you have embarked on. Hallelujah divine speed. Hallelujah. May you not be stuck. May you not be trapped. May you not be stranded. Hallelujah. In a belated season, it's very difficult to be, you know, sometimes you, you, you don't understand the seasons and the times and you find that you are still stuck in the past. It's like that when somebody has rejected you or you are dejected and you are still stuck in a season and you're still thinking, I'm still in a relationship with this person, but God has actually moved on and God has actually opened the door for a new season. Hallelujah. Lizzie, God is giving you good speed, good divine speed to help you realize when the seasons change, to help you realize when opportunities present themselves, that you need to grab them at the right time. Hallelujah. Somebody type it in that comment section, divine speed. May you not be stuck in the past season. You are moving to the new season this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. It's Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1 to 10 clearly stated that there is a time and a season for everything under heaven. Hallelujah. You are a covenant child of God. You are walking by faith. You should arrive at the different season, at the junction of your life whenever it is a good season. You are moving and shifting seasons at the right time in divine speed. Hallelujah. Somebody in Tabi, good morning. Welcome. What is speed, fortune? The, the the when you look at the di dictionary definition it says speed is uh, uh, um moving quickly towards a goal so if whenever you are applying speed you are moving towards a particular point you are moving towards a particular goal hallelujah somebody 
It is, it is moving quickly towards a goal or performing at an expected rate. You must perform at an expected rate. There's an expectation from God. Thank you, Anna. There is an expectation that God has set for you. You need to understand that you must not be, live, be, live below the power or the standard that God has set for you. You need to understand that you are royalty. You need to understand that you have the kingly, uh, uh, the priestly anointing in you, in you. You need to understand that you've got the word and you've got the covenant working for you. you need, you've, you've got the rights that are working for you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Dolly. Hallelujah. So when you are working at, uh, or, or, or you are operating at optimum, uh, at the optimum level, when you are operating at the expected standard where God expects you, God expects you to walk around with divinity in mind, to understand that divinity operates inside of you. God expects you to understand that the genes of divinity are working inside of you, that you can conquer anything. Hallelujah. Oh, shakati masokote. Munashe, you, you, you are at an upper level. You are operating at peak level. There is no underperformance here. There is no five out of 10. This is always 10 out of 10 or even more. That is what divinity operates like. Hallelujah, somebody. So it is performing at the expected level. It is exp at the expected rate. It is moving too quickly towards a goal. We need to understand that the times that we are living in are limited. The, the scripture that says that we must work while it is day, work while it is day, because when the night season comes, you will realize that the years are gone. Don't walk around with the, with the mentality that I'm still too young. I can still achieve and all these things. No, move quickly towards the goal, because as soon as you reach that goal, God gives you another goal and he shifts you forward. Tell your neighbor, I'm moving with divine speed. Hallelujah. I'm moving with divine speed. So to have good speed, the good kind of speed, G double O D in life is to achieve your God given goal. So this morning, don't leave this place without knowing God. What is my God given goal? What is that given goal that you have given to me? Hallelujah. That is my objective. That is my objective to reach that goal in good time. For as a child of God in the journey of destiny, the most unacceptable thing is to experience a, a, a season of being stuck is to be stuck at a level where you are actually qualified for higher performance. Anytime there's a project anywhere you are, even in your workplace, determine that you are going to work beyond. You are going to go beyond. You are going to go beyond for your customers. You're going to go beyond for your children because you can operate at a higher performance level. I'm moving forward with divine speed in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Speed can be defined in the following categories. Number one, God's speed. There is what is called the speed of God, achieving God-inspired objective at a good time. There's also normal human speed, achieving set objectives at a, at a good time in the eyes of men, what is measured by men. There's also called what we call overspeeding. That is when you are putting unnecessary pressure on yourself. I was at a graduation ceremony um, about a week ago. And um, one of my spiritual daughters had achieved an MBA with cum laude. And I loved what she said on her acceptance speech. And she was, uh, you know, the parents had gone forth and everybody had set the standard and said, oh, the next thing automatically should be a PhD that you are getting. And all, it, it was sounding very well. But, you know, in her acceptance, she said, mommy, daddy, I will achieve that PhD and I will make you proud. I will get that doctorate, but I will achieve it in the time that I have set for myself. Because sometimes we put ourselves under pressure. We want to achieve things and we put ourselves, that is what we call overspeeding, right? She was saying, if it takes me five years or six years, I will do it. But what I will not do, I will not put myself under undue unnecessary pressure that it affects my health. I got to understand that she was going through health challenges, right? Because she had taken on this, 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 you must understand being a mother, being a, a manager at work and serving in the Lord and also studying. It's not child's play. So you need to measure yourself. You need to balance things out. You need to know when you have reached your extremities. Overspeeding is not allowed. Tell your neighbor overspeeding is not allowed.
You need to calculate the cost. Count the cost before you do anything. Don't put yourself under pressure and say, I'm moving with divine speed. I'm going to build a mansion because you want to be like your friends. If you are not going to be able to maintain a certain type of lifestyle, measure yourself accordingly. God, is this good? Am I moving at a good speed? Am I moving at your perfect will? Or am I moving at my own pace? Don't compare yourself to other people. Am I communicating this morning? Move at the good divine speed. Yes, Madikilet. Move at the speed of God. Hallelujah. Don't move at the speed of men. Because if you try and compare yourself with the Joneses, you will always put yourself under unnecessary pressure. Don't allow your children to make you move at a speed that is going to suffocate you. Am I communicating? I hope this is helping somebody. Because sometimes we do things that put us under pressure. It, they, it puts us under serious pressure because we are trying to satisfy our children. We're trying to live beyond our means. Calculate the costs so that you can be a testimony that you are a lender and not a borrower. When you are constantly going to Mashonisa or, or, or these uh, 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 people that borrow money, uh, that borrow you money, and you are trying to maintain, you say, I'm moving, you know, I'm moving with, that is not divine speed. That is overspeeding. When you overspeed, you crash. Don't put uh, yourself under pressure. If you need to wear a synthetic wig, my baby, wear a synthetic wig. You don't have to wear 100% human hair. Don't overspeed. Oh, I don't know why I paused there, but let me move on. Hallelujah. Don't go on an unnecessary overdrive. If you go on an unnecessary overdrive because you are selfish or you are moving because of an unguided ambition, you will crash. Don't put yourself under pressure to get married. Hallelujah. Yes, you, you feel like God is slow, Munashe. But God will give you grace to move at the right speed, at the divine speed. Some people have been put under pressure to get married. You go to family functions and say, ah, oh, you're still not married. You still don't have a child. No, don't put yourself under pressure. Anybody who's asking you things, you say, I'm moving at the speed of God. I'm moving at the divine speed. The divine speed is the one that is actually measured properly. Hallelujah, somebody. Then there's also the poor and the slow motion speed. And this is equally the one that we need to be cautious about. The poor speed is the one where people are always saying, I will do it next week. I will do it next month. There's still time tomorrow. There's still time on Monday. Oh, Jacalia Masoto Korea Baha. The Lord will help you, Lizzie. You will not overspend in Jesus' mighty name. You will move at the divine speed. Equally, do not move so slowly that God is wondering, is this a child of mine? Because when you are a child of God, you move at the speed of God, which is good. It is a fast-paced speed, yes, but at least if it is God-ordained and if it's backed up by God, then you are moving somewhere positive. So the poor and the slow motion, you know, the, the rate of accomplishing anything is basically next to none. You never start anything because as the Bible says that he who observes the clouds shall never sow. You will never go out because you're always postponing. I'm talking to the procrastinators now. Hallelujah, somebody. So don't move at the poor speed. Don't overspeed, but do not go on the slow lane too much. That is why on the highway, I told you, you are either keeping on the left lane, stay away from the right lane. If you are not ready, if your car is not equipped to move at the pace of who is moving on the right lane, you shift up and you say, God, equip me. Let me understand the dimensions of divine speed. Amen, somebody. You guys are awesome. Hallelujah. And there's also what I call deceleration. That is the opposite of speed. Instead of moving forward, the situation is de 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 deteriorating. <laughs> Sorry, my heart got tongue-tied there. Where you are deteriorating, it's called a deceleration. You are not accelerating, you are decelerating. You are moving backwards. So that is the kind of thing that we also need to be careful about. You can't be moving backwards. You need to be moving forward. So don't be afraid, afraid to take risk. You must be failing forward. There's something that John Maxwell taught us. He says, fail forward. You take steps. You don't procrastinate. You, if you fall and you fail, 
it is an experience. It's a learning experience. You stand up from that point and you dust yourself and you say, okay, what can I learn from this? Now I'm moving forward. Hallelujah. Mm. So you need to know when you are moving from the left lane to the center lane. And when you are moving from the center lane to the, to the right lane, that is moving at high pace. Amen, somebody. So we do not decelerate because God is not a God that moves us backwards. So anytime you find yourself in a situation or in a relationship where you are moving backwards, you understand that is not God God ordained. That is not divine speed. Anytime you are finding yourself, let me speak to the people that are in relationships. Where you enter a relationship, it's like you are going in reverse mode. You were joyful before you met this person. Things were going well. Have the discernment and the and, 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 and the wisdom to know when the seasons have shifted and move. Have the discernment and the courage to move on when you see that you are in an abusive relationship. Have the discernment and the courage to move when you are in a work environment that is so toxic that it is killing you and affecting your mental health. Am I talking to somebody this morning? So we do not decelerate, we accelerate, but we accelerate at the pace of divine speed. Amen, somebody. When you are accelerating at the pace of divine speed, it means that you are moving with the perfect will of God. And what is the perfect will of God? To run this pa- the race with patience, to run the race with consistency. You don't give up, you are consistent. Thank you so much for those who are gifting. You are moving at the pace of God. You are running the race with patience. You are running the race with uh, consistency, with constancy. You keep on showing up because if you speed, people crash and they, they fall out of the journey of life. They stop fighting. But if you're consistent, every single dose, kaya masata, you come like you've come this morning. You are getting the word. You are getting fatter in the word. You are growing bigger and bigger. Thank you, Ntabi. Hallelujah. There are seasons for waiting. There are seasons for running with the vision. There is a season to execute the vision and there is a season to wait and observe and recuperate and gather. And then you move forward. Amen, somebody. Habakkuk 2, 2 says, write the vision, make it plain so that they that read it may run. Make it plain so that we understand it. What are you doing? You yourself need to understand the vision that you have put down. What is the vision? So that I don't miss it. So that I don't miss the goal, goals and the milestones. Be a project manager for your life that understands what you're doing. Be a good project manager. Tell your neighbor I'm moving with divine speed. Hallelujah. So every time you are, you want to move with divine speed, you need to understand that the devil will always try to hinder you. And how does he want to hinder you? He can hinder you through fear. Some people are fearing. That is why they are decelerating. That is why they are just scared. Some people are so scared that they start over speeding because they are scared that they've got the fear of missing out. You want to keep up with your friends. You want to keep up with the Joneses. You want to keep up with the, with the ones who are saying, I've got a blesser. You want to be a slay queen. You want to be a slay king. You want to keep up with being cool. You're over speeding. You're going to crash. Hallelujah. Take time to write the vision. Hallelujah. Take time to understand that God did not give you a spirit of fear, but he gave you a spirit of a sound mind that you should not fear anything. You should be able to embark on any goal and you move with divine speed. What is fear after all? It's, it's, it's false evidence appearing real. So that thing that you are scared, that step that you are afraid to take, take that step. We are moving with divine speed. Take that step. Hallelujah. We are not going to observe false evidence. We are not going to, because that is not the real part. The real part is that God has called you for that dream. The real part is that God has called you for that, um, for, for that ministry or that business. God has called you for such a time as this. God has called you and has called you to this season. You are moving with divine speed in Jesus name. So when you see fear, you need to understand that it's the devil trying to project lies onto your mind. And when he projects lies onto your mind, he paralyzes you. He paralyzes your passion. Some of you have lost your passion because the devil has paralyzed your mind. 
situations are blown out of proportion they create instability you are thinking oh my god this is a crisis oh i'm gonna fall apart no you're not gonna fall apart no you're not gonna lose your mind there's no room to lose your mind your children are depending on you you are depending on yourself give yourself the guarantee that i'm going to show up you are the insurance policy there's no other insurance policy that is showing up except the insurance policy of the Holy Spirit. So we are not going to over-exaggerate. We are not going to believe the lies. We are not going to be paralyzed. Amen, somebody. Jesus said, let not your heart be troubled. So some of you, I, wanna, I want to talk to the people, especially that have been going through marriage challenges. Stop panicking. The Lord says, I have not given you a spirit of fear. You don't resolve anything when you panic. Your mindset does not work when you panic. You can't get a solution. You can't be objective about any situation when you panic. Are we still tracking together? So when you say, oh, I, what are you afraid of? Did God give you that spouse? If God gave that spouse to you, you need to understand that every single prayer that you're going to pray for them or whatever situation is facing you, God is going to answer that prayer. Have the confidence that God has got your back. God cannot ordain something and abandon it. He says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Thank you, CC. God bless you. So stop panicking. Some people went, you know, even after you would be praying with them, they will still have a negative um, words that come out from their mouth. You still want to confess negatively. I don't know. What don't you know? What have we been praying? We are here standing in agreement for divine speed. We are saying we are receiving divine speed. All these days, the things we've been declaring, the things we've been praying about, we are in agreement with you. You can't be the same person that leaves the broadcast after three hours and say, oh, my health is falling apart. Which Jesus were you praying to this morning? Hallelujah, somebody. Mamake, thank you so much. Hallelujah. Let not your heart be troubled. Tell yourself that. Please, just confess it with me now. My heart do not be troubled. The devil will also try to attack you by discouraging you and putting hopelessness inside of you. He wants you to think that the situation is hopeless. He wants to discourage you. And that is a very efficient weapon to paralyze you. If you allow discouragement, don't be discouraged. Even if you feel the symptom of discouragement, don't say, hey, I'm, hey, I'm so discouraged. Oh, I'm so discouraged. At that moment, you are even pulling yourself further into deeper discouragement. Let not your heart be troubled. Megan, your heart should not be troubled. The minute you feel fear, the minute you feel this discomfort of confusion, you must know that thing is not for you. It's either God did not mean it for you or you oversped. You, you were speeding. You are crashing. When you crash, you know that you are overspeeding. Let not your heart be troubled. So don't allow the devil to launch you into discouragement because then you sink into paralysis. And when you are in paralysis, you can't even think. You can't strategize. You can't achieve anything. A discouraged heart will lead you to heaviness. A heavy heart will lead you to depression. Then when you are depressed, then you are taking medication, you become a zombie and all those things. Da, 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 da. The devil is a liar. You are moving with divine speed. Hallelujah. When men get discouraged, they lose heart. When men get discouraged, they become violent and they can't think. They almost stoned David when they got back from Ziklag. Hallelujah. They got discouraged and they wanted to give up. They, wanted, they were just all over the place. But they needed a leader that was of a sound mind. They needed a leader who would say, wait, stop. Wait, we, the battle is not lost here. We've not lost any battle. We are going to go and fight and get back what God has, has given us. No to discouragement. Tell your neighbor, say no, I will not be discouraged. I will not be discouraged. When you are not discouraged, you are able to plan, to re-strategize, to apply the laws that are needed so that you go get your goods from the enemy. 
so that you God helps you to turn around that situation. Amen, somebody. But when you are discouraged, you shut down. Your creativity is lost. You can't even come up with solutions. You cut off that divine inspiration. Oh, you will not be discouraged. Not on my watch. Not on my watch in Jesus' name. Elijah, Elijah was so discouraged at a point he ran out of town. So God knows you will be discouraged, but you don't have to be staying there. That is why he says meditate upon the word day and night. Encourage yourself. Think on these things that are positive. One of our members one time, I think she, she wrote, she said, oh, I'm so depressed. I'm sad. I'm seeing so many uh, killings happening in, in Johannesburg and all these things. Why are you focusing on that? Sometimes the, the problem is that we listen to too much of the news. You are in a taxi. You are just hearing people talking about everybody dying. There's so much crime and all these things. While well, the Bible says that meditate upon these things that are good. Whatsoever is good. Whatsoever is, 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 is sweet. Those are the things that should be going through your head. When you have seen an, a bad accident, you pray for that situation, that those people who are in that accident, and you immediately tell yourself, God is a good God, because God has just demonstrated to you that you are not the one in that accident, but you are still alive. Do you not see the testimony? Do you see when the devil tries to distract you and, and as you think, oh, I might be next, I might be next. When you enter your car, those of you who are afraid, why did you take a driver's license if you are afraid of driving? Do you understand that kind of illustration? You cannot be afraid. You can't walk around life and say, I'm afraid. What if I get into an accident? So who's going to drive that car? When are you going to launch out? What if I fail? What if you succeed? I'm moving at divine speed. Amen. So we see examples even in the Bible that there are people who were discouraged. But look at Jonah. Jonah was so discouraged, he ran away from God and, and he, he was thrown in the sea. Don't crash. Hallelujah. John the Baptist refuses to exercise his God-given authority over Herod because of discouragement. Luke chapter 7. Look at how they, they, they just forgetting themselves. Don't forget who you are. You are moving with divine speed. You will not be discouraged in Jesus' mighty name. Another form of, of, of the way the devil will, will, will attack you is by distractions, distractions, gossip, murmuring, being a busy body. Stop being a busy body. People who are busy bodies who are murmuring and gossiping do not move with divine speed. It, it disqualifies you. Oh, shakali masokotia. Don't engage in activities that are useless and godly. Those are time-wasting activities. Don't be the one that, 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 that associates with the cabal in the workplace that you're always talking a bad about your bosses. You're always talking bad about people that are achieving. Whatever you don't celebrate, you will not achieve. If you don't celebrate the successes of other people, you know you want to be that particular thing or you want to have that qualification or whatever it may be, but you put that down. How can that anointing ever come on you? Amen, somebody. Hallelujah. Am I preaching too hard today? Why are you not tapping on the screen? Hallelujah. So you need to understand that when you are a child of God and you are moving at the divine speed of God, you don't engage in useless conversations. You have a great mind. Great minds discuss ideas. Small minds discuss people. Don't be the kind of person that is discussing people. You must be a builder, not a destroyer. Amen, somebody. You are moving with divine speed. Also be careful of the pains of the past. When you focus too much on what has been paining you, what broke your heart, you are, you are so focused on the past. That is the devil who wants you to focus on your pain of the past. That is one of the tricks of the devil to keep you stuck. Just because your first marriage didn't work does not mean the second one will not work. He's a God of second chances and third chances. Doesn't mean where, where, where you are, you cannot even grow bigger. Or you can't go to the next level. So the devil always wants to access your mind and, 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 and he wants to dump rubbish in your mind all the time. He wants to tell you why things are not working and why things will not work. That is the time when you need to be vigilant and fight back and say, devil, I do not have time to accommodate nonsense. I do not have time. Hallelujah. 
I made somebody laugh yesterday, a doctor friend of mine and um, um, who was examining me. I said, I don't have time to be sick because I, I actually painted this illustration. I said, when you don't have medical aid, you don't have time to be sick. You only have time to pray to God. So don't, don't accommodate negativity. Don't accommodate ne nonsense. Don't accommodate the nonsense that the devil dumps inside your mind. Don't allow him to even dump it in your mind. The, 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 the sooner you break away from gossipers and murmurers and people who are always feeding you with negative information, the better. Hallelujah. You are a builder. Yes, you are not a destroyer. Don't be part of and associate with people who are trying to bring others down. You are always talking bad against other people. That is why I always say that if you are going to be a minister of God and you are going to have a calling, focus on your calling. Don't focus on other people's calling. Do not, you don't have to put down another minister for you to get validation. That means you don't have a message. Hallelujah. So I'm not, I'm not, sometimes when I come across certain broadcasts and I'm, I'm, I just briefly, and I just, I, I can't even stay a second because I don't understand why you want to bash another minister. Is that your message that God gave you? Are you, are you following my point? You will even mention the specific name. Touch not the Lord's anointed. Hallelujah. So the devil always is trying to trick us. Hallelujah. Guard your heart with all diligence. Make sure that pollution doesn't come. Poison doesn't come into your spirit. Don't allow fear to even entertain and create a committee inside your mind that is going to try and bring you down. Guard your heart with all diligence. Don't focus on the pains of the past. Yes, you sinned in the past. God has forgiven you. You have been forgiven. Forgive yourself. So that you can move on. If you are going to move with divine speed, forgive yourself. Your past sins don't exist anymore. Do you not understand what, what 2 Corinthians uh, uh, said? He says, you are born again. You are a new creature. The old things have passed away. The new has come. Old things have passed away. Don't allow people you knew from back when, back home, they were staying in your street, in the location, remind you of what you used to do, who you used to be. It does not matter. Now I'm moving with the divine speed of God. I'm washed. I'm cleansed by the blood. The blood has blotted out every one of my sins. All my transaction, trans transgressions have been blotted out. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Welcome, Rancho. Hallelujah. God has forgiven you. Forgive yourself. Accept your forgiveness. Celebrate your forgiveness. Rejoice. Celebrate your new freedom in Christ. He has nailed all your sins on the cross. Everything has been leveled down. Everything has been put on the cross. Stop fetching the things that are on the cross. Why must you have, when you are having an, a misunderstanding or a miscommunication with somebody, you go and dig up grudges of the past. You are with this wonderful new person in a relationship. But instead of celebrating them, you are reminding them about what your first ex did to you. Is it fair? Do you think that relationship will not, will not, will have speed? That, that relationship will not, it, it's, it's, it's already doomed. How can you move at the divine speed when you are always cooking up? You are always, do you remember what you did? Even with your spouse currently, you are reminding them of what they did three months ago. Why did you not raise it at that time? Oh, Jesus. Lift up your head. Embrace your tomorrow because we are moving with divine speed. Sin and unrighteousness is gone. Don't go pittering and, 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 and fidgeting with it again. You know that this thing is wrong, but you still go back. Satan is slowing you down. The longer you stay in bondage of sin, Satan is actually slowing you down. Fight. Resist the devil and he will flee. Fight to be free. Fight to be free of the, that addiction. Determine in your mind that I'm going to shake off this addiction. I am moving forward with divine speed. I'm not going to allow alcohol to slow me down. I'm not going to allow cigarettes to slow me down. I'm not going to allow drug addiction to slow me down. 
I'm not going to fidget with fornication. I'm not going to fidget with adultery. My destiny is too big. My destiny is too big to mess around. I can't be associated with gossipers and mamaras. I can't be performing below standard. My, 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 my report card must reflect a pass mark in Jesus' mighty name. Fight the good fight of faith. Do not let worry and anxiety inhibit you from what God has ordained for you. Tell your neighbor, I'm moving with divine speed. Your destiny is way too big, Otsepeng. You can't be dilly-dallying with worry. Worry is a strategy of the devil to slow you down from divine speed. Anxiety. What are you anxious about? Be anxious for nothing, but in all things with its applications, make all things, all your requests, all your petitions known unto God. Hallelujah. You need to check your anxiety. Don't, don't leave it unchecked. Why am I worrying? What has crept in into my mind that has replaced the word? The, the problem is that when you're not consistent with the word of God, when you're not consistent with eating this word like this, when you're not consistent in prayer, somebody is going to come and plant a word that is contrary to what the word of God says. And suddenly you start seeing worry flourish in you. Suddenly you start seeing anxiety spring up. Why is it springing up? Because you opened the door. You left the door open. The hedge was broken and somebody came and planted nonsense. And that person was sent by the devil. Somebody caused you to panic. Oh, Jesus. I was almost, I, I almost wanted to share somebody's uh, testimony. But thank God it's a testimony because they had made a wrong decision. They were going in the wrong path. That was opposite of what God had wanted them to do. And they almost died. It is that serious. They almost died because they were getting into a covenant with the wrong spirits. So your life is too precious. Don't check your anxiety. Check your worry. Where are you coming from? Why are you here? What, what, what told you that God is no longer God? Who told you that God is no longer in charge? Who told you that you must go look for option X and Z and Y? Who told you that you shouldn't stay on option A? Who told you that you are not a high level performer? Who told you that? Help us, Lord. Give us divine speed. Careful when, you, when, 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 when anxiety and worry creeps in, it's because you are not prayerful. You are prayerless. The things that made you who you are, you forget them. You were prayerful at a point and you started being prayerless. You started thinking that it's cool. You can skip certain prayer meetings. You can skip your time with God. This is just helping. You are supposed to be having your own individual time with God anyway. So this is just a bonus and an and, and added thing that you get the guidance. You don't have an excuse to say you don't have exposure to the word. If you say, I don't have a church or I don't trust the churches around me, you are here on this broadcast. I'm here every single day. And the word is going forth. You are being empowered. So you have no excuses anymore. Amen. Prayerlessness. Watch out for prayerlessness. It's a tactic of the devil. Watch out for broken personal relationships with God. You were close to God at a point, but now your relationship is, is lagging behind. Yes. May the Lord clear your mind from all distractions in Jesus' name, Megan. There will let nothing hinder you, darling. Let nothing hinder you. You are moving with divine speed. As we are declaring it today, we are asking for the Lord to give us the anointing of divine speed. You can't allow things like data to prevent you from hearing the word of God. Fight. But yet you have data to watch every other thing on TikTok or on YouTube. Prioritize yourself. Prioritize your spiritual growth. Christians can be funny sometimes. They will have money to go to jazz concerts, but they will not have money to do the things of God. You can sacrifice a McDonald's burger for you to honor God with your offerings. Oh, Jesus, do not even step aside. Stay here. Nobody must scroll out now. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Giselle. You are complaining you are being broke, but you have got money for, 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 for McDonald's. Even if you don't want to give it to church, even if you don't want to give it to any ministry, you don't want to sow. Why is your business plan not getting off the, 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 the ground? Why is your business not starting? Because, you know, sometimes when you cancel with people and you're asking them, why haven't you started the business and the excuses that they're giving you? But yet you, when you, when I check the person, I'm like, you are spending your money on things that are minor. Hallelujah. Focus on the right things. Let me move fast. Oh my God. I didn't see how fast time has gone. Determine in your mind, say worry and anxiety be removed from my mind. Hallelujah. Understand that God is banking on you. God wants you to succeed. Do you understand that as Christians, when we succeed, when we flourish, the great commission flourishes and it spreads. Satan loses. People need to see us being responsible. Th people need to see the progress and the prosperity happening in us, that we are productive. We have productive mindsets. After prayer now, something should propel you to go and work hard. Something should propel you to go increase your skills and your talents and to grow and to implement. Hallelujah. When the church of God moves with power and when the church of God moves with a powerful vision into the communities, into the nations, hallelujah, souls that are oppressed begin to be saved and souls become, uh, uh, they, they come to Christ and, and, and people who are sick become healed. Do you understand the mandate that is upon your head that you need to move with divine speed? You need to achieve, you need to heal the sick, you need to do so much so that people can be freed, people can move out of oppression. You don't have time to waste. Every child of God must arise and dream again. Shake yourself from the dust. Shake yourself from the bottom. Yes, you fell. Yes, you are crying. Yes, you must remove your tears and you must just wipe them and keep on moving. If you need to be crying as you are moving, fell forward, move forward. Divine speed is available in Jesus' mighty name. Move. Tell your neighbor, keep moving. Keep moving. Don't be stuck in the past. If they dumped you, great. You are not rubbish bin. So dump them back. Just move on. Keep on moving. You lost your job. Keep moving. God, what's next? Is it a job? Is it a new business? Am I an entrepreneur? Keep moving. Tell your neighbor, keep moving. Hallelujah. The devil wants to distract you because he's, the, the Bible says he's there to steal, kill, and destroy. When he steals from you, he's not going to back down and just leave you and say, oh, I've stolen. She's backed off. No, 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 no. He's coming back for the kill. When you get deliverance on these broadcasts, for example, of one thing, there are more demons that are coming. They want, they're, they're looking for the next person to get into. Or if you let the hedge of protection not remain close, you will let them in again. Satan wants to create havoc in your life. He wants to de de devastate you. He wants to ruin you. He wants to mock the church of God. He wants to, to the church, the unbelievers to think that, oh, these people are so useless. He wants to overtake you. He knows that you are called for the nations. Talk to me, somebody. Do you not understand how big and your depth of your calling, how, 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 how big it is? You are called to the nations. Cities are waiting for you. Families are waiting for you. Communities are waiting for your solutions. You cannot afford to be, to, to, to be moving at a snail pace. You cannot be, be, be decelerating. You need to accelerate. Tell your neighbor, accelerate. The devil wants to discourage you because he, he wants our unbelievers to, to, to mock us. Hallelujah. His desire is to reverse your progress. He wants to reverse your gains. He wants to reverse your breakthrough at every turn. You keep on, you keep on testifying. The more you see him trying to pull you back, you keep on testifying of the goodness of the Lord. God, you are faithful. God, you are mighty. God, you are amazing. God, look, I woke up this morning. God, I bite. Look, you saved me from that accident. My God, you are a good God. That is what you meditate upon. You don't meditate about the accident that has happened for somebody else. We are feeling sorry for them. We are praying for them, but we are back. We are, we are back on schedule. God, you, Holy Spirit, you are amazing. If I was there a minute earlier, I would have died. But I didn't die because the Holy Spirit kept me back. And to show me, that was him showing me that, you see what I saved you from. He's a faithful God and you can't tell me otherwise. 
I will apply the secrets to get into divine speed. I will maintain my fellowship with God. That is who you are. You need to maintain your fellowship with God. You need to maintain the, 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 the energy that the Holy Spirit gives inside of you. You need to activate the, the, the rivers of living water inside of you. Out of your belly flows rivers of living water. You need to constantly speak in tongues. You need to make time for God. You need to energize yourself. You need to pray with the Holy Ghost. You need to understand that you don't have the luxury and say, oh no, I'm just a Christian. I'm just, oh, no, 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 go and speak in tongues. Ask for the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Lord, baptize me with your Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues. Open up my eyes the prophetic eye so that I can see what you have said for me, O oh Lord. Show me revelations in your word so that I have an understanding of your word. Thank you for healing, Lord. The word of life must be inside of you. Apply The word of life must be inside of you. You must have the word of God inside of you. Don't be the kind of Christians that only stays around when we are making declarations and prophetic uh, declarations about wealth. Stick around for the word. You accelerate by the word. Know the word of God so that you are not fooled. So that nobody who is fake can tell you otherwise. When a prophetic word comes forth, it comes to confirm something that is already inside of you. Something inside of you should confirm and say, yes, I can relate. Plant the word. Remain committed. You are a covenant child. Remain committed to your servanthood. Remain co covenanted to your giving. Expand the kingdom. You are in partnership with God. Let every single seed of you multiply. I'll pray for you, Kapo. Kabo. Is it Kabo? Kabo. Hallelujah. You will be yourself again in Jesus' mighty name. Just make sure you are always on this broadcast, 5 a.m. South African Standard Time and 10 o'clock. If we will, we will preach you through, we will teach you through. One thing I can't take away from myself, I can't just, I am I will teach this word because I know that it is the foundation. Every single prayer that comes out from my mouth, it is based on the word. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. Your seed will multiply. You will definitely reap a harvest. You will become yourself. Speak to yourself right now in Jesus' name. Activate the covenant supply of God. Praise him. Be a person of gratitude. Be thankful. God, I'm so grateful for giving me speed, for helping me overcome this thing. Thank you, Lord, that you are accelerating me right now. Praise is mysterious. When you're going through things, you're going through challenging situations, you praise him in the midst of it all. I'm going to praise him in advance. I'm not going to praise him when, when he gives me the car or the house or the husband or whatever it is, the dream job, or whatever. I praise him in advance. When you engage in glorious play, praise, you, it's like you are driving a bulldozer, but that bulldozer is moving at the speed of a Lamborghini. You are moving with divine speed. Hallelujah. If you desire God to be present in anything that you do, in everything that you do, you constantly make sure that you are praising him. Make sure that you're always joyful. If you want miracles to happen in your life, God moves miracles in the atmosphere of joy, where you are grateful, where you are dedicated. You need to be grateful. You need to be joyful. You need to be thankful. You need to be joyful. Hallelujah. You need to be praising him. He says, I inhabit the praises of my people. Hallelujah. Shouts of joy are wonderful and I inhabit them. Hallelujah. Shouts of joy are what brought down the walls of Jericho. So any wall, any defense that is trying to defend itself from your breakthrough right now, it's coming down in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Have a faithful and positive life. Be faithful, be positive, make positive declarations all the time. Why do, people in the world, they say they call them, what do you call it? Um, affirmations. This thing is from us in the Bible. It's from us. We are the ones he has given us the words. He says, your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Prophesy into your life. Speak positive prophecies in your life. You won't know them if you don't know the word. So that is why you need to give yourself time to learn the word. You have a new life in Christ that you need to celebrate. Hallelujah. If you, if, if you understand your new life and your new creation status, you understand that you have received a liberating power. You are free. 
You need to know that when you have turned away, you are the righteousness of God. You live in genuine repentance. You actually want to make Jesus proud about your lifestyle. Hallelujah. All bondages begin to break. Talk to me, somebody. Oh, the Lord is touching you, Miss M. Bondages must break because salvation has come. Salvation, I embrace Jesus as the captain of my soul. He's the captain of my salvation. He's the captain of my life. I'm an ultimate winner because I've let him be in charge. Talk to me, somebody. Divine speed is activated in my life because of this. Those of you who have not accepted Jesus Christ, what are you waiting for? Hallelujah. Father God, cause us to walk in high places through divine speed this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you have created a smooth pathway for us in Jesus' mighty name. Father, thank you for giving us a discerning heart. Thank you for giving us circumcised ears. Thank you for giving us circumcised eyes in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, we move with an obedient heart. We declare and we decree that we have divinity inside of us and we are moving with divine speed in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for destroying every satanic agenda against our lives in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we thank you, Lord. Our sight and vision has been restored. We are moving with divine speed. Make sure you are maintaining that confession throughout today, throughout this weekend, throughout the whole week, the whole month. I'm moving with divine speed. The Lord is ordering your steps in Jesus' mighty name. The Lord is ordering your steps. Hallelujah. Who is here? Hallelujah. Oh, shakali abasa katakari abasandi. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Father, I thank you. Thank you for this meeting today. Thank you for this moment of fellowship that we were able to share and learn your word, oh God, in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. You need to understand that it's not by human effort. Human effort is not enough. It's not enough. You want to move from one level to the next level. You need divine speed. Human effort is not enough. You need a spiritual intervention. I'm moving with divine speed. Make sure you're declaring it. I'm moving with divine speed. You will attain early breakthrough when you move with divine speed. You will arrive at the de destination before others get there. You will not be left ahead. Hallelujah. You will not walk with a, a, a human efforts. You will attain divine speed in every endeavor of your life in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we decree it and we declare it right now. Decree and declare what is that thing that you want God to give divine speed to. Right now, put it in that comment section now. God, I need divine speed in my area of my finances. I need divine speed in the area of my health. I need divine speed in the area of my mental health. I need divine speed in wh what is it? Declare that divine speed. Make those declarations right now. What do you want God to give you divine speed in now? The Bible says before she traveled, she brought forth before her pain came, she was delivered. So God can suspend a natural order to grant you speed. Do you understand that this is a protocol breaking word? This is a pro God says in Isaiah chapter 66, verse seven, he says, before Zion travailed, she brought forth before you decide to cry. He says, I'm already giving you that thing before you decide to have pain. You have already been delivered while you are still saying out. I feel pain while you are still trying to push. He says already that thing has been delivered for you. So God suspends the natural order of things. He says, you don't have to have pain before. You don't have to have gone back. You don't, you don't have to reverse. Stop rewinding. Fast forward. Ah. Then the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and he gathered up his loins. The hand of the Lord is upon you this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. When the hand of the Lord is upon you, it means that you outrun people. Tell your neighbor, I will outrun you. And you outrun, you, 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 you outrun people. Ha, Kali Abasunda. Give me good speed. Oh Lord of my master Abraham, I pray thee, give me good speed this day. Show your kindness to me in the name of Jesus Christ. I will live a life with speed. I will live a life with divine speed in Jesus mighty name. I will not live a life full of struggles because I'm moving with the divine speed of God. Keep on declaring, I'm moving with the divine speed of God. I'm moving. My life is devoid of struggle, but my life is full of favor. My life is full of divine favor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
The hand of God is upon you. The hand of God is giving you speed this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You will walk in holiness. You will remain in the center of the will of God for your life in Jesus' mighty name. The Bible says that the hand of God came upon Elijah. That same hand is upon you this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Come on, keep on declaring. You need to have that depth of desperation in your prayers. Be desperate. Don't leave anything to chance. The forces of the wicked enemies are, 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 are at war. The, the wicked people wa do, do not want your progress. So you need to understand that some people who are around you are the forces of wickedness. They are in human agent form. They are agents of Satan. So you can't leave anything to chance. Your discernment must be sharp all the time. You can't afford to delay your vision any longer. You need to manifest right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, your mind will be open to the words of God. Your mind will be open to the revelations of God. Every form of wickedness will fizzle out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As you continue to engage in the high praises of God. Lord, I thank you for divine speed. Oh Lord, you are massive. You are amazing. You are great. You are faithful. You are the God that is releasing divine speed. Lord, thank you, Lord. Without you, I am nothing. You are the God of all. You are holy, O oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, somebody. The Lord takes pleasure in those who fear him, who reverence him. Hallelujah. The Lord takes pleasure and he will give you his mercy. He will forgive you in everything that you have done gone wrong on in Jesus mighty name. Father, I'm moving with divine speed in the name of Jesus Christ. I will be diligent about the Lord's business. The Lord says, I, do you see a man that is diligent about his business? He shall stand before Kings. He shall stand before mere men. Hallelujah. You will stand before Kings because you are moving with divine speed in the, in this morning. Hallelujah. I declare it and I decree it. Thank you, Iris. Hallelujah. This is a key factor. Hallelujah. Divine speed, divine speed, divine speed, not laziness, not laziness and divine speed don't go together. I will not be lazy. I will not procrastinate in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I am moving with divine speed. I will not be lazy. Are we declaring together this morning? I will not be lazy in Jesus mighty name. He came to even to them and he did not return. And the driving, the driving is like the driving of Jehu, the son of Nimshi, for he drives furiously. Did you see that in the Bible? Second Kings chapter nine, verse 20. Drive furiously, furiously with speed. There's an agency that needs to come inside your spirit. Your spiritual gear must be in the highest to attain divine speed. You must be, your car must be moving fast. Recharge yourself this morning. I will not be lazy. I do not have the spirit of laziness. I have a spirit of, a, of, of, a, of divine speed. I know whose I am. I am. You are made in the image and likeness of God. You are a creator. You have the solutions for everything. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for mercies over our lives in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy. Let your mercy, Lord, over, oh, overwhelm me, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Then let it envelope me every new day, Lord. I pray for new mercies in the name of Jesus Christ. Grant us grace to move forward, O oh God, in your will, in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I pray for every single person that is on this broadcast this morning. Those of you who are on Facebook, YouTube, and on TikTok, hallelujah. Those who rose again, Lord, this morning to say they are rising up, Lord, to stand on your word, that they are rising, O oh God, to come and pray and seek your face, O oh God, to come and make these declarations, to come and do those protocol-breaking prayers, O oh God, that will move them forward to their next level in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you, Lord, that divine speed is being laid on them right now. As I stretch out my hand, I lay my hands on you right now. I stretch out and I, I, I lay my hands on you right now. Receive the unction of divine speed. Receive the anointing of divine speed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is granting you speed. The Lord is, is, is clogging up that wheel of stubbornness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is opening up the Red Sea for you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord God is causing fire to fall upon any demonic roadblocks that has been hindering you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You will move with divine speed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Any form of roadblock that was trying to stop you right now, it is being paralyzed in the name of Jesus Christ. It is being removed. It is being consumed by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father God, I thank you, Lord, that every single person who's at the sound of my voice, Lord, they will reach their destination in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I'm reaching my destination 
here. Make sure you are confessing it right now. I am reaching my destination. I am reaching my destination. I will reach my destination. Confess it as many times as you can. Even if you can confess it 21 times, I am reaching my destination. I am reaching my destination. I am reaching my destination in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Kali Amasoto Kodi Abasonda. Every necessary area of your life that needs divine speed, receive divine speed right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I prophesy it on your life right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever you lay your hands on from today, as long as it is in the will of God, that thing will receive supernatural speed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If you lay hands on your children, that thing will, they will receive uh, 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 supernatural speed, divine speed is their portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Your cars, your everything, your business, just go ballistic and say, Lord, I receive the divine speed, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. May God grant you the, the grace to recover all. You are recovering all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every barrier, every stronghold that has been erected to stop you right now, I scatter it by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I don't care what it is. I don't care where it's coming from. I don't care who erected it. I don't care how much cement they, they, they say they put on it. Right now, it scatters by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I speak to every single obstacle that has been uh, happening in their lives right now. Father God, let it be destroyed destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Every power that has gathered, oh God, against you moving forward right now, it scatters by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare and I decree that you will move forward in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Receive the anointing of speed. Receive the grace of speed. Receive the grace of divine speed this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. By this anointing of divine speed, oh God, it will help you to move forward to where you ought to be. If you are not where God has put you to be or oh God where God wants you to be right now as you say I receive in the mighty name of Jesus Christ declare it I receive I receive the divine uh, speed uh, to move me to where I'm supposed to be to move me where God wants me to be in the mighty name of Jesus Christ receive the anointing for speed into prosperity you are seeing that prosperity you are seeing that dead cancellation right now the anointing of speed is moving you to help you recover yourself to help you come out of that debt to help you pay off your debt screen to help you pay your children's school fees, to help you raise your children. Well, you will not be sluggish. You will not be lazy. You will not procrastinate in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every power that has been making you to be lazy or sluggish, right now we come against it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your breakthrough is certain and it will manifest in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every spiritual snail in your life that has been trying to make you slow, that has been trying to control your life, right now it catches fire and it dies in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not move at a snail place. You will not move at a snail pace in the name of Jesus. I come against every wicked snail that has been trying to slow you down, that has been trying to delay your testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak to every spirit of backwardness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I speak to every slow movement in your life right now. Right now, catch fire. That thing catches fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Begin to thank the Lord for answered prayers right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Kariya Basuta, our faith is strong this morning. My faith is strong this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, you are a God that performs indeed, and you are a God that answers indeed. You said if there is a man or a woman to pray, oh God, there is a God to answer. If there is a woman and a man that will declare this, oh God, you are answering our prayers in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, thank you, Lord. You have destroyed every stronghold of stagnancy. I declare you will not be stagnant. Lisiko, you will not be stagnant in the name of Jesus. Deborah, you will not be stagnant in the name of Jesus. Jimmy Pora, I see you rising and flying in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not be stagnant in the name of Jesus Christ. Giselle, you will not be stagnant in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak to every spirit of pride, arrogance that has been denying you opportunities right now. It loses hold of you in your life right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every sin that has been killing your prayer life, every sin that has been killing your confidence right now, in the place of power. I speak to that spirit right now. I come against it. I bind it in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive the forgiveness of the Lord. Receive the cleansing of the Lord. Right now, you are coming into your rightful inheritance in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Kathy, I speak to you right now. Remember, Lord, the remember. Remember, the Lord has remembered you this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is remembering you this morning. Jimmy, the Lord is remembering you. Dolly, the Lord 
is remembering you. Makaveli, the Lord is remembering you in the name of Jesus. The Lord is granting you sp a speed again. Solar Queen, receive the speed of God again. Receive divine speed again in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says in Romans 9.10, he said, 9.16 rather, he says, so then it is this not to the one who's willing, not to the one running, but of God who's showing mercy. Hallelujah. It's God that has decided to show you mercy this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. I know you are there and you are saying, Pastor Fortune, I've been trying, but it's not enough. I don't understand, but I want to tell you this morning, his mercy is enough and he is giving you divine speed and he's giving you his mercy. I know you say I've been trying and yes, you, he has seen your efforts and he is seeing I'm giving you mercy right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody is crying. He's saying, I'm tired of catching up, Lord. Give me the speed of a leader. Give me the speed of a pace setter. I will be a pace setter. Give me a, a, the, the pace setter anointing, oh God. Let me get divine speed, oh God. Give me that spirit of leadership in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare and I declare, Lord, that this day, Lord, I receive divine speed for excellence, oh God. I receive the anointing that will grant me speed for excellence in everything that I do. In the name of Jesus Christ, receive your deliverance this morning. How am I doing for time? Give me two minutes and I'm out. Father, if you did it for Mordecai and you rescued the Jews, you will rescue every single person that is on this broadcast in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare and I decree that you are delivered from your Haman in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mm the Lord has issued a proclamation this morning that you are free. You are delivered in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I see the Lord upgrading you. The Lord is upgrading your speed. You are moving from 1.0 to 3.0. In fact, you are moving to a high speed, unlimited access, unlimited fiber. You are moving unlimited by satellite frequency in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. We decree that every divine help, that every divine speed that we need, it is is coming forth right now. It is reversing those things that were irreversible, Lord. It is making those things that were revoked, Lord. Lord, revoke them. Revoke anything that the devil passed against me. Anything that the devil took from me, Lord. Reverse it, O God. You are receiving a new level of joy right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I wish you could type that amen well. Unfortunately, online, Mara official, I see you guys are on fire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I speak to you, Prophet Chilizi, in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive the anointing and for divine speed. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you are moving with a new level of joy. That position of authority that God has empowered you to occupy. Right now, you are receiving divine speed in that area in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is empowering you this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is sending out his ministering angels right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your package of joy is being released in the name of Jesus. You are receiving everything that will favor you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Everything that will favor you. I command the elements to, co to, 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 to favor you. The sun, the moon, and the stars will work with you to make sure that they deliver and turn around your situation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The speed of God is arriving in your, in your porch today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord find you and the works of your hands and bless the works of your hands in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Any missing link in terms of your destiny achievement right now, it is being replaced speedily in the name of Jesus Christ. Your destiny shall be achieved in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I command every helper, every destiny helper, every one of our supporters right now, come forth in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we call forth the investors to come forth in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we call forth our counselors to come forth in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we call forth every advice we call forth every comforter in the name of Jesus Christ. Where are you? What are you waiting for in the mighty name of Jesus Christ? Oh, somebody needs to ask uh, my destiny helper, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? What are you waiting for? Do you not know that my business plan is already? Where is my investor? Where are you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ? Somebody needs to ask, uh, where are you? What are you waiting for? Where is my supporter? Where is my support team? Where are my counselors? Where 
where are my advisors? God, show me, open up my eyes that I connect with the right people. Connect me with the right people. Connect me with the right advisors. Connect me with the right investors. Let my, my plans, Lord, not, go, no, not fail in the name of Jesus Christ. The God that gives speed is the God of Abraham. Oh, God of Abraham, we call upon you this morning. Lord, send us good speed, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Except a man builds a house, those that build, they build in vain. Lord, I will not start building anything until you show up in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, as I have showed up on this protocol breaking prayer altar, Father, I call forth, oh God, that your anointing of speed and your anointing of divine speed is upon me, Lord, to build, oh God. Your anointing for divine speed is there to equip me in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we declare and we decree, Lord, we lay down our struggles at this altar in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, build our lives, build our homes, build our businesses in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we are nobody without the assistance that comes from heaven. Father, let heaven's doors open. Let heaven's windows open. Let it pour out a blessing more than we could contain. Let men come and bless us, oh God. Let there be an overflow in each of our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ as we move with divine speed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, your word says up. Paul planted Apollo's water. Father, those who need to come and water my seed, let them come forth right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we receive the increase of God. No matter wherever the watering is coming from in the name of Jesus Christ, Father, give us the anointing to water the seed that we have also planted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I receive speedily my goods. I receive speedily my possessions in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever I plant in the kingdom will not die in the name of Jesus Christ. My seeds are not dead. I call forth every seed. Lord, I call you to remembrance every single thing that I have done. I have served, oh God. I know, Lord, salvation is not by works only, oh God. And no faith is not by works, oh God. But Lord, I come asking for mercy and I say, Lord, I need your intervention. Without you, I'm nobody. I do not have a plan B, oh God. I only have you for my life, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, somebody type in that comment section, divine speed is here in the name of Jesus Christ. You are the God that anoints men. I don't know any other God that will anoint me, but you are the one who anointed Abraham. Oh Lord, I call on the God of Abraham. I call on the God of Elijah. As long as Elijah, Elisha also called on the God of Elijah. This morning, oh God, I call on the God of Elijah. I call on the God of Abraham. Right now, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the water shall part in the name of Jesus Christ. I will go through in that red carpet. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I will not be swallowed up in death in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I will not be overwhelmed. I will not over uh, uh, drown in that sea in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm not drowning. I am rising. Lord, there is a lifting up for me, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As I declare this, you should be typing that amen louder because I am declaring for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God, I'm a son, daddy, I'm a son. Psalm 114 verse 3 says, when the sea looked at God, it ran away and the Jordan River flowed upstream. I don't know what sea has been trying to overwhelm you. I don't know what is that storm that has been threatening to overwhelm you. But the Lord says when the sea saw the Lord, it ran away. That sea must run away. Those devils must run away. The wicked must run away. Your ancestral struggles must run away. In the mighty name of Jesus, receive divine speed. And when you track to verse 4 of Psalm 114, it says the mountains and the ill hills skipped around like goats. I don't know who has been troubling you, child of God, but they will be skipping around like goats. Just after you pray this prayer with me, in the mighty name of Jesus, Christ, every sea of pain in your life, right now it will see God and it will run. I speak to every sea of pain in your life right now. It will see you and it will run and uh, run away in the name of Jesus. Every mountain of struggle, whatever you, whatever you are, whatever you are, every mountain of struggle. What are you waiting for? Have you not heard that we have commanded? You will skip and flee like goats. You will skip and flee like goats. In the name of Jesus, Kale Sheketi Amasonda. Every fake man, every fake woman of God that we know, Kale Amasonda, that is killing people's destiny right now, Lord. Expose them and disgrace them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every Akani Amasonda, Father, draw us to those that are original men and women of God, oh God, that are preaching the true gospel, oh God, that are preaching the word of God, unadulterated. In the mighty name of Jesus. 
Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you, Lord, that you have given us divine speed, Lord, and we are getting into the solutions of speedily, spe speedily solutions in everything in our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Kaliyama Sonda. Sometimes, child of God, God will make you do something that is seemingly weird. He will make you go wash in the river Jordan. I don't care how many times you need to go and wash yourself. You need to go wash yourself. The Bible says in 2 Kings chapter 5, verse 10, he says, Elisha sent someone outside to say to him, go wash seven times in the river Jordan. I don't know where you need to wash. If you need to go on a seven-day fasting and praying, you need to go do what you need to do for divine spirit to be made manifest in your life. Some of you, I know that as I said that, as I said that it is an instruction, you need to go on a seven-day fast to make sure that you see the divine speed operating in your life. Enough is enough. Are you not tired of being tired about being tired? In the name of Jesus Christ, don't let your ego stand in the way of your divine speed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we are letting go of our egos right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every single spirit of pride that has been designed to, to slow us down, Lord, we are brooded now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are brood every form of pride in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Facebook, is your pal still go going? Are you still awake in the name of Jesus Christ? Karama Sokodiyama Sondadiyama Hey, Lakashianda, whatever Lord is coming from our earlier years, whatever Lord is coming from our youth that has been hindering us right now, Akadia Masonda, we are rooted in the name of Jesus Christ. We declare breakthrough. Oh, you will not give up because God is sending help this morning. You will not give up. You were at the point of giving up, but God is sending help this morning. Whatever instruction he gives you from now, do it. Whether he says seven times, whether he says 17 days, whether he says 21 days, you make sure you go the extra mile. Receive the divine spirit of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Remember the timing of the Lord is the best time. So you work with the timing of God. You work with the location of God. Make sure you are at the right place and at the right time in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ, make sure you are not, the conditions of the road are good for you to speed. Hallelujah. The condition of the road will determine how fast you will get those results. Hallelujah. How do you fix your condition, Pastor Fortune? You fix your condition by making sure that you are watering your word. You make sure that you are meditating on the word day and night. Hallelujah. And you will do good to see the prosperity. You will be planted. You will be like a tree planted by the rivers of the living water. Hallelujah. You will always be flourishing. Your, your, your leaves will always be green, ever flourishing in the name of Jesus. Christ. Yes, there will be times when you need to slow down and evaluate in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, there might be times when you need to stop and you cannot apply the speed, but the Lord will give you the discernment to do all this in the name of Jesus Christ. You will have the discernment to know when to stop and when to move. You will know the, the, the time when you need to accelerate even further in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, cause the, your divine timing to work for us, O oh God. We will move in the div divine timing, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Christ. We don't care whether it is evening, noon, or whatever. Lord, let your speed work for us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says in, 20, in, in Genesis 24 verse 11, he says, and he made the camels to kneel down outside the city by the well of the water at the time of the evening and the time the women were to, were to go out and draw the water. Hallelujah. So it is important that you understand the seasons and the times. You understand the timing when God is moving. You understand and you are at the right location. If you are needing to be at the gate, be at the gate. Hallelujah. Be at the gate and make sure that you are fighting the battles that you need to fight at the gate. You need to understand that the battles are at the gate. Hallelujah. Oh, lift up your gates that the king of glory may come in. Hallelujah. The king of glory is coming into our lives today. And the king of glory has brought divine speed upon us in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord is giving you accurate understanding in this season on what to do. You will not miss God. Tell your neighbor, you will not miss God. I will not miss God. Hallelujah. Everything, every power that has been manipulating you, whatever season you are in, I command it to lose its hold from you right now in the name of Jesus whatever powers of manipulation, whatever evil powers, whatever monitoring spirit, loose your hold from our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we declare and we decree that divine speed is coming to terminate any single form of abnormality in the name of Jesus Christ. Divine speed has come to terminate anything that God does not want in our life in the name of Jesus Christ. Divine speed has come this morning to reverse all forms of irreversible things in our lives that have been hindering our speed in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I speak concerning 
fortune. I speak concerning medical aid. I speak concerning Kirthi. I speak concerning uh, Prophet Chilizi. I speak concerning Apostle Mara. Right now, the forces of speed from the heavens, the forces of the speed on the earth will work for you. Akariyama Sonda, did you hear that declaration? I said, you mentioned your name and you command the forces of heaven and the forces of earth to work for you.